The Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia SFRY was a socialist country that existed in the second half of the 20th century. Being socialist meant that strict technology import rules and regulations shaped the development of computer history in the country, unlike in the Western world. However, since it was a non-aligned country, it had no ties to the Soviet bloc either. One of the major ideas contributing to the development of any technology in SFRY was the apparent need to be independent of foreign suppliers for spare parts, fueling domestic computer development. Topic: Development. Topic: Early computers. In former Yugoslavia, at the end of 1962 there were 30 installed electronic computers, in 1966, there were 56, and in 1968 there were 95. Having received training in the European Computer Centres Paris 1954 and 1955, Darmstadt 1959 Wien 1960, Cambridge 1961 and London 1964, engineers from the BK, Institut Vinca and the Mihailo Pupin Institute Belgrade, led by Professor Dr. Tihamir Aleksik, started a project of designing the first «domestic» digital computer at the end of the 1950s. This was to become a line of CER Serbian Sifarski Elektronski Rekuner, Cyrillic Sir Sifarski Elektronski Rekuner Digital Electronic Computer, starting with the model CER-10 in 1960, a primarily vacuum tube and electronic relays-based computer. By 1964, CER-20 computer was designed and completed as electronic bookkeeping machine as the manufacturer recognized increasing need in accounting market. This special purpose trend continued with the release of CER 22 in 1967, which was intended for online banking applications. There were more CER models, such as CER 11, CER 12, and CER 200, but there is currently little information here available on them. In the late 1970s, a Niz Rašunarski Centar, from Niz, Serbia, started assembling mainframe computers H6000 under Honeywell license, mainly for banking businesses. Computer initially had a great success that later led into local limited parts production. In addition, the company produced models such as H6 and H66 and was alive as late as early 2000s under name, Bull HN. Models H6 were installed in enterprises e telecom for business applications and ran the GCOS operating system. Also, they were used in education. E.g., one of the built Honeywell H6 was installed in local electronics engineering and trade school, Nikola Tesla, in Nice and was used for training and educational purposes until late 80s and dawn of personal computers. Topic. Imports Eventually, the socialist government of SFRY allowed foreign computers to be imported under strict conditions. This led to the increasing dominance of foreign mainframes and a continuous reduction of relative market share for domestic products. Despite this, since the interest in computer technology grew overall, systems built by the Mihailo Pupin Institute first CER, then Tim Lines and Iskra Delta e Model 800, derivative of PDP-1134 continued to evolve through the 1970s and even the 1980s. Topic. Early 1980s, home computer era Many companies attempted to produce microcomputers similar to 1980s home computers, such as Evo Lola Ribar Institute's Lola 8, M. Pupin Institute's TIM001, EI's PICOM 32 and 64, Pell Varazdin's Galeb computer, and Orau, Ival Ultra and Ival Z3, etc. 
Joseph Stefan Institute in Ljubljana made first 16-bit microcomputer PMP11 under the leadership of Marijan Maletic, former technical director of Iskra Delta in 1984. It had 8 MHz DEC T11 CPU, maximum of 64 KB RAM, 10 MB hard disk, 8 diskette and 2 232 rupees ports for VT100 video terminal and COM. Branko Jevtek modified RT11 operating system so plenty of DEC 11 applications were available. Some 50 machines were made before IBM AT became widely available. Many factors caused them to fail or not even attempt to enter the home computer market. They were prohibitively expensive for individuals especially when compared to popular foreign ZX Spectrum, Commodore 64, etc. Lack of entertainment and other software meant they were not appealing to majority of contemporary computer enthusiasts. They were not available in stores. The end result was that domestic computers were predominantly used in government institutions that were prohibited from purchasing imported equipment. Those computers that could have been connected to existing mainframes and used as terminals were more successful in business environments, while others were used as educational tools in schools. Given that all medium and large enterprises in the country were government-owned, this was still a significant part of the domestic market which explains both the unnatural, relative success of domestic business computers, as well as why IBM PC, AT and Compatibles had a low influx in the local business market. However, while the government tried to proliferate domestic home computers by introducing the cost and memory size limitations for imports, many people imported them nevertheless either illegally or by dividing a single computer into pieces that separately fit within prescribed restrictions. Lack of proper legislation and such gray market activity only helped the demise of domestic home computer production. By the middle of the decade home computer market was, much like in the rest of the Europe, dominated by Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum as a runner-up. One domestic microcomputer model managed to stand out, Galaxija. Created by Voya Antonic, the entire do-it-yourself diagrams and instructions were published in the special issue of popular science magazine, Galaxija. Called Rationari U Vasaj Kuchi computers in, your home in January 1984. Although initially unavailable for purchase in assembled form, more than 1,000 enthusiasts built the microcomputer for games. Many were later produced for use in some schools. Home computers were widely popular in SFRY, so much so that software otherwise recorded on cassette tapes was broadcast by radio stations e.g. Ventilator 202, Radio Student Ljubljana etc. Due to lack of regulation, copyright infringement of software was common and unlicensed copies for sale were freely advertised in popular computer magazines of the time, such as Rationari, Svet Computera, MOJ Micro and Revia za Microratunala. This distribution led to essentially every home computer owner having access to hundreds, if not thousands of commercial software titles. This would later cause benefits and drawbacks for the economy. Several student developers became computer experts since cheap and unauthorized development tools were common. However, they found themselves still competing with these waras domestically after trying to find a market for their skills. <laughs> Late 1980s, PC era The second half of the 1980s saw the rise of popularity of IBM at compatible among business users, and a slow movement towards 16 bits like Amiga and Atari Street computers in the enthusiast market, while mainstream home computing was still largely dominated by the ubiquitous C64. Domestic computer hardware manufacturers produced a number of different IBM AT compatibles, such as TIM microcomputers and Lyra, and the first domestic Unix workstation in one of the configurations, Iskra Delta's Triglov was shipped with Microsoft's Xenix, but their success was again limited to government-controlled companies that were required to purchase only domestic or legally imported technology. Timeline 
1959. Branko Sosik leads a team from 1955 to 1959 to create the 256 channel analyzer digital computer at the Ruder Boscovic Institute 1960. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases first digital computer in SFRY, CER 10.1964. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases CER 20, Electronic Bookkeeping Machine, Model.1966. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases a series of mini computers CER 200.1967. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases CER 22, Digital Computer for Online Banking Applications. Point one nine seven one. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases hybrid computer systems hours 100 for an USSR, Moscow. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases CER 12 computer system for business data processing in ERCs. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases CER 203.1979. Iskradata releases Iskradata 16801980. Evo Lola Ribar Institute releases Industrial Programmable Logic Controller PA5121983. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases Computer System for Real Time Generation of Images. And a model TIM001. Iskra Delta releases Iskra Delta Partner Z80A based computer. Complete build it yourself new instructions for Galaxija N. Galaxy computer are published in Rashunari U Vasage Kuchi Magazine. 1984. Iskra Delta releases Iskra Delta 800 computer derived from digital PDP 1134. Institute Josef Stefan releases PMP11 16-bit microcomputer compatible with DEC RT11 OS. Pell Varazdan releases Galeb N. Siegel computer later to be replaced by Orau 1985. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases Microprocessor Post Office Computers. Siri TIM 100. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases an application development microcomputer model TIM001. Pell Varazdin releases Orau N. Eagle computer for use in schools. Galaxija Plus enhanced version of Galaxija is released. Elektronska Industria NIS releases PICOM32 and PICOM64 also for use in some schools. Evo Lola Ribar Institute announced official release of Lola 8 for an exhibition in 1985.1986. Evo Lola Ribar Institute releases Industrial Programmable Logic Controller LPA 512.1988. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases 32 bit microcomputer systems TIM 600. Mihalo Pupin Institute releases HD 64180 based TIM 011 microcomputer integrated with green monochrome monitor, for use in many Serbian secondary schools. See also List of computer systems from SFRY History of computer hardware in Soviet bloc countries Notes and references <laughs>